Insulation. And this is what we did for our insulation thing. We used a cardboard box. We met the re uh, measurement requirements. And then we put cat litter in there. And that was because of the time. What? Cat litter. And this is why we used cat litter. Uh, it's used to observe uh, order, normally orders, but it also observes heat. These are the air trapping pockets. Uh, it's really hard for heat to travel through the material. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, the temperature stuff we got. We uh, measured from the computer using Logger Pro. And then, uh, like, we have it simplified on the next slide, but this just shows the change in temperature as time goes on. This is the uh, inside of the box and the outside. And then you can see at exactly 20 minutes, 20 minutes when we shut the light off, you can see the instant change in temperature and how fast it went down. Until 40 minutes, which is at the very end. So, here's our uh, data, the internal temperature, you can see started at approximately 28.3. Uh, it reached a maximum at 20 minutes of 62.4 and its final temperature of 40 was 38.1. Whereas on the outside, uh, some heat escaped, uh, increasing the temperature from 21.3 to 26.5 at its highest, and then decreasing slightly as the energy release slowed. All right, and then here are our calculations. So the, um, the difference between the max internal and max external is 36 degrees centigrade. Our uh, energy gained uh, during the first 20 minutes is 149 joules. The energy lost is 106 joules, uh, leaving us with 43 joules that were gained but not lost, which is 28% of the energy that we put in. And the percent was like the net divided by, I'm pretty sure, like the difference. What are the gains? It was <laughs> And then here are the constraints we must be uh, cost efficient and environment, invent, environmentally friendly, so recyclable. Mm -hmm. I mean, this box you uh, scale this up to put in an attic. You've just got a giant cat box that you don't have to clean because it's in your attic, so all the air, so all the sink goes up. So you, just, you can just put all your cats up in the attic. Yeah. Lock them in there. That sounds mm -hmm. good. Like. Do you not do that already? I keep storing them in my garage. Ah. <laughs> in buckets. Um, yes, so it's recyclable and economical because it's reusable as cat litter either before or after insulating. In the cardboard box, it's recyclable. Um, the uh, material dimensions uh, did not exceed the top, it was within the 20 by 20 centimeters, and it was a thickness of approximately one inch, exactly. Approximately. Yep. That's all we got for you guys. Okay. No questions? Well, I would, I'll, I'll just tell you, I, I would like to see a calculations page. I mean, I'd always like to see, you know, I, we, I did most of it for you on the board, right? Remember, I did it incorrectly the first day, <laughs> right? And so we had the volume of the box, which we calculated. We had the density, so we could get the mass, so we could use the MCAT. So it's, it's always nice to see if you're doing a research, scientific research proof or something that you don't just throw numbers on the thing, right? You, you show me how you calculate everything out. So.